Hello everybody, Twinkle Phoenix here with another episode of Finding to Treasure Island. First of all, nobody's right, nobody's wrong. We've all seen different versions, so let's get along. You're probably wondering why the hell I just said that rhyme for. Because a lot of people right now are arguing about a little bit of a description thing going up on the wiki. People were coming to me asking me questions about two of the cast characters. Goofy and Daisy. Goofy's jacket, Daisy's ball. Now then, let's start from the beginning. Now, Goofy made his first appearance as a backdrop character in the olden days. And I mean really olden days, before colour look. There he is, right there with a bag of peanuts. Oh, yummy. Now, back then, of course, a lot of the characters were with these ridiculous, like, little hats. But Goofy still kept the same cat. The same, like, you know, little hats and everything. Now, the first time we saw Goofy in colour was this one. Where he had his black jacket. But he still kept the same theme throughout it all. As you notice, hat, jumper thing, turtle neck jumper thingy, little jacket, blue pants and big shoes. Now, the next time we saw Goofy is when he had his own series. You see, he still got the same thing, but the colours have changed again. And he then also got his own movie. And his colours changed again. But he still had his hat. If you notice, know the colours here match this one. Except they're in reverse. At least the top half is, look. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything to do with it. Who knows. Maybe not important. Now. Here's Goofy that made his last current appearance, which... Technically, this is where he is right now. He's in a series called Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Now, this is the one where he's got the dark brown jacket, dark brown and red jacket, his green hat, his orange, you know, the colours match again to this one. But this is the one we got to the present. If you notice, Minnie's hair looking beautiful with her buttons and her little polka dotted thingies. And her lovely shoes and Daisy's here too. And Daisy's got a little, like, ponytail thing. Every single incarnation of Goofy has something different. We don't know which one this is supposed to be based off of. We know it's based off of Goofy, but we do not know which version, which generation of Goofy it is based off of. So we shouldn't necessarily assume which one it is. Only that this is the first time in colour we saw him, but he was a backdrop character before then. But this is when he made his official appearance and he had this black jacket. In colour, anyway. But then they changed it because all the Disney cast always change their outfits. I've noticed. Depending on, like, what episode it is or what movie you're watching with the Disney cast. They've always got new outfits on or something's different. Smaller bows, big bows, different colours, different jackets. You know, but something that stays close to them. Though, for some unexplained reason, Mickey Mouse still seems more or less the same. Now, for Daisy... Daisy, 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 my sweet Daisy. Now, the first time Daisy made an official appearance anyway was in this cartoon. Now, if you notice, her curls were really pale and really hard to see anything on her. They were actually supposed to be really, 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 really pale lilac or some kind. And this was her proper colours officially in the show when she first appeared in colour alongside Donald Duck. And if you notice, Donald's got a new outfit on. Mm-hmm. But Daisy's got a lovely blue top and a lovely pink bow. Now, Daisy again obviously changes. In a different cartoon we see her when she kisses Donald, she's wearing a yellow bow and a yellow dress. Don't they look cute together? And again, Donald's outfits change. Daisy also makes an appearance in another cartoon show where, well, she hasn't got a bow at all, actually. See? But she's got the blue eyes that this one has. And she does have, like, the, um, purple, uh, eyeliner there. Now, this is from the Mickey Mouse, um, House of Mouse series. And I adored this one. It was one of my favourite ones to watch on TV. And she had this lovely, like, purple eyeshadow on her eyes. And it just looked gorgeous. You can see this back here as well. But you know, she's got a big mop of hair and a little bow 
But again, folks, it's not the accessories that make the character, and it really shouldn't matter what the character was meant to have in general. All that matters is that they're here on Treasure Island, and they're not here to make friends with you. So remember, folks, nobody's right or wrong. We just know all different versions, and we got to know them well. So let's just all get along. I do hope this cleared up why everybody's arguing about which, what this character's bow is supposed to be and what this character's blooming Jack is supposed to be. If you notice, it looks like I'm goofy. I could be mistaken, but it looks like possibly his one's actually just painted on. I could just be wrong, but it just looks like it's painted on. And he's got no head, love him. As for Daisy, she could be any incarnation. We're looking for a car an incarnation of her that has no hair. Again, this one does. She had like little tufties on the back of her head in this version. I want to see in this version where she had a pink bow though. I don't think she did. But again, she doesn't have the purple eyeliner on her. So it could be any incarnation of her. And we could go match them all up. For one, in this cartoon version of her, her eyes actually went bluish. They're white. And this one is completely wrong because her pupils are blue, so it couldn't have been that one. And this one has the wrong colours. But again, it doesn't matter which, what they wear at all. Just grow to love them. There's no need to argue about anything. Also, I need to point out something as well. Anybody else notice that Donald and Daisy are both missing their tongue? Notice they're supposed to have a tongue in their mouth, but neither of the two have them. They're just pointing that out, but you can see the bottom of her neck be here. Just below her be here. This is the bottom of her neck. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this little episode of taking a look at, you know, why there's an argument, why people are asking about the bloody bows and the blaming jackets. That's why it's because of various different versions. I do hope that cleared up. I remember, guys, nobody's right, nobody's wrong. We've all know different versions, so let's just get along. Okay then guys, see you in the next episode of Fire Nature Treasure Island. Bye bye, until next time, toodaloo, more vids coming up on the channel.